thanks for watching and today's video will be uh, Paradroid loading from cassette for the Commodore 64 now this was I believe Andrew Braybrook's second game I think his first one was uh, Gribbly's Day Out then came Paradroid and I think its follow-up was Eurydia which I've said in other videos is perhaps my favorite uh, Commodore 64 game of all time. So let's get the load started here. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and click on our logo in the bottom right of the video to subscribe. We are currently in the process of uh, making a playlist on YouTube which will consist of 100 hours of Commodore 64 gameplay. So please go ahead and subscribe to our channel so that way you can receive notifications of when new videos are added to that playlist. It's my goal to add maybe 10 games per week to that playlist and uh, of course this will be one of those games. So it does look like the file has been found. Let's go ahead and get that moving along. My recollection is that this game, Paradroid, came out in 1985, the year before uh, Andrew came out with Iridium. Now, this is an enjoyable game, but I don't think I ever quite completed it. I got pretty close of clearing all of the decks, uh, but nice feature of the game was the uh, the in-game games where you would have to try and take over the higher power droids that was a bit tricky um, but yeah I got pretty close but never finished it now I haven't played this game in a, quite a few years I've played it uh, on the emulator a few times but um, as far as loading it up on the actual Commodore 64 it's been quite a while since I've done that so it looks like it's here it's loaded up there isn't much. There isn't much sound to speak of, other than the sound effect. There's no music. We'll get it started right after this break briefing. Thank <laughs> you. 
right, here we go. Those four seventy sixes, I remember, yeah, they were pretty tough. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's try it out again. Stuck. Now, one thing I had read about from Andrew Braybrook, I think it was probably in Zap 64, was how, although it's a bird's eye view of the map, um, if one of the opposing robots has gone outside of your line of sight, like let's say they went around a corner. See like for example here I can see 296. However, if he goes behind a doorway or the, you know, if he goes through a doorway and the doorway closes behind him, I no longer see him on my map even though I can still see the room. So to demonstrate that, let me show you. So like here, 302 or two, 349, you see how he went, I, even though I can see that room, I don't see that he's necessarily there unless I, until I go into the room myself. So that was pretty smart. And at times it can be a bit frustrating at the same time. So like I can see the doors open and close, but I didn't see who it was that came in. And I probably should get to one of those health regeneration units. Let's see if I can find one. So I've cleared that, cleared this particular deck, but I want to get to. Like I might be going to the next deck without regenerating my health. Uh, 
Oh, here's one here. Alright, so I'm back in business again. Alright, so let's hit the uh, the elevator system and pick a floor. So that's the one I just cleared. Alright, so I can only go up to that one. From this elevator, let's take a quick peek in here and see what's going on. You know what, let's try and do a uh, battle here. So this is where I try to take control of this particular unit, this 302 unit. So the object here is to... I'm going to pick the... I'm going to pick the yellow side. So the object is to turn... Oh my goodness. Yeah! So I won that exchange. I basically had to turn... The center column, I had to turn it yellow. So now I'm 302. So I can't go anywhere else. So let's go back down to this one. We'll go through a different elevator. Let's try this one here. So we can only go down from here. All right, let's check this one out. Let's see what level of units there is. Damage. Generate my health. There we go. That's another level down. Let me find another elevator. Let's try this one right here. Alright, let's see what's in store for us here. Alright, these don't seem to be too difficult. Oh, not good. Yeah, I took one shot from that 476. So 
So that there, folks, is Paradroid by Andrew Braybrook, uh, released by Graph Gold, Houston Consultants. And uh, it's no secret, but that is where I took the name of this channel. Graph Gold Limited 1985. So if you had this game, please... Uh, Drop a comment and hit the like button. Um, so this is a this was a, one of my favourite games that I played for the Commodore 64. Lovely graphics. Um, that sound can be quite annoying at some times though. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks again. Bye bye.